What is up, Husky Bass Heads? So, we got an exciting video for you guys today. We're gonna be taking the battery out of that go-kart, the Mitsubishi Mirage. It is this thing right here. That lead acid monstrosity, and I did not have those terminals on there when it was in the car. I just was putting that on there for testing purposes. But anyway, we're gonna be pulling that hunk of junk out of there and we are gonna be replacing it with a Supercat bank. You wanna run big amps, you gotta have more power. So if you guys wanna see me do that, stay tuned. I think you'll enjoy the video. So here's the equipment we're going to use for the Supercat Bank build. We've got these Ioxus Supercaps, uh, these 2.7 volts. I've got six of them. I ordered them from droppinhertz.com. And so we should end up, I think, if I'm doing my math right, at 13.8 volts. volts when we wire these together now I had to go down to a local hardware store to get the hardware that goes on top of these um, if I had one gripe it would definitely be that that they did not come with hardware um, but I guess that's not a huge deal so then what we're going to be doing is putting it under the hood in this this is a battery case that I got from AliExpress. Parker the base head makes a bunch of his um, um, lithium banks with something similar. And so what we're gonna do is, you can see I've modified the top. I drilled two holes in here and we're gonna be using these Sky High Car Audio um, battery terminals. We're gonna be we got this big bolt. We're gonna run this through here, like that. And this is how I'm gonna connect my positive and my negative to my capacitors that are gonna be inside the box. And then we can jump this from here to here. So I can run all my factory battery connections from these two posts and then any additional I'm gonna have two of these, one on this side and one on this side. So the way we're gonna run these together is, or the way we're gonna attach these, is I got these universal bus bars from Battery Hookup. They were actually really cheap. I don't remember the price right offhand, but I think I paid like $15 for, I don't know, like a bunch, like 20 of these or something. So these are basically just gonna run Run like that so again another gripe if i had any about these these didn't come with bus bars they didn't come with hardware uh, they didn't come with anything but i got them on sale and they really weren't that expensive so it wasn't a big deal so anyway that's the plan with the battery delete super cap bank build So this is how we're going to be wiring these. We have six of them and each one of them carries a 2.7 voltage. Now we're going to be wiring these in series. So that is what's going to get us to our final voltage. So it's going to be positive to negative to positive to negative. We're basically going to be doing like this series in a row. So we're going to connect this negative to this positive. That's going to bring our voltage to 5.4. This negative to this positive. 
that's going to bring our voltage to 8.1 this negative to this positive that's going to bring our voltage to 10.8 this negative to this positive that's going to bring our voltage 13.5 this negative to this positive that's going to bring our voltage to 16.2 so now we have one battery or excuse me yeah one battery positive lead and one battery negative lead that's how this is going to run this is going to be our final voltage and we're going to have one positive terminal and one negative terminal now what does that mean does that mean that our car is going to be resting at 16.2 uh, volts no that's not what that means uh, we would have to do some upgrades to the voltage regulation to make that happen and i'm not going to do that so it's well i'm at least not going to do that right now um the super caps operate a little bit differently than a battery would batteries have a little bit more tighter operating voltages that they want to work in the super caps will mimic the voltage that they are seeing from the battery supply i'm going to have lithium in this car as well and so it's not going to be resting at 16.2 uh it's my understanding that super caps just have an operating voltage and these it's a pretty big range from like i think it's like eight volts to like 16 and a half uh, don't quote me on that but basically with this setup, we could run up to 16 volts is, is really what that means. It doesn't mean that this battery pack is going to be operating at that voltage. It would only operate at that voltage if that's what we were feeding it, which we're not going to be. Okay guys, we got this thing pretty much halfway put together, at least the way that we want it to. As you can see, we've got our uh, negative terminal here, and these are marked, and uh, positive, the positive side is not marked, so positive side of the battery is going to go here, negative side is going to go there. And you can see, I went ahead and ran two, you know, each one of these has two holes. I ran two uh, bolts into each one just so these would not wobble all over the place. I, I don't know if you could tell in the video, but when I was putting these together, these slid around and they wobbled around, which that's good because that lets you fit them however you want to fit them, but then they're really squirrely when you're trying to get it together. You can see the bottom looks like that. And what I ended up doing, I had this... Uh, packing foam stuff 
this some of my other audio supplies have come in and I just cut it up and put it in between these just so that these did not rub together and short out. And then I just went around the whole thing with some packing tape. Now here we've also, let me move this to the side, we've also got this lid finished. As you can see, I've got my two sky high distro blocks on the top and they are jumped on the bottom here. See, so here's, from the distro block here. Then we've got one of these four gauge wires going to your factory post, and then one will be going to the super cap bank. Same on the negative side. Now, maybe that four gauge might not be enough, but I could always jump it again with a big one knot from here to here if I decided I wanted to do that which I probably will do. So that's how it's coming so far. And that's how I got my lid and my distro block set up. Okay guys, and here is the finished product. So that is how it's gonna mount in the car. Let me pull this lid off. You guys can see what the insides look like. Okay, so I did have some spray foam in there to hold that tight, but I did not like it. It made a really big mess. So I pulled all that out of there. All of that I left off video just for obvious reasons. So you can see my negative terminal right there goes up to the negative side, which is here. Then the positive terminal goes up to the positive side. Now, like I said, I can bus it from the top if I decide that I want to. But yeah, that's how it turns out. The next thing we're going to want to do is put this on a battery charger and see if it will start the car. <clears throat> Man, this garage is filthy. <clears throat> I've got to clean this thing. Anyway, my super caps have been sitting on the charger all night. So let's see what they do. Let's see what the voltage is. Let's grab our little tool here. Take it off the charger. This up right here so we can see it. Okay, so that's our negative over there. Here's our positive. I'm trying to do this with one hand is very difficult. What the? Or are we on the wrong mode? Ooh, boy. All right. Well, this will be exciting. The next thing I'll do is see if it'll start the car. So I got that old lead acid battery out of there. You can see we just got like an empty battery tray now because we got that little plastic battery box out of there. Now let's see if this cat bank will fit in there. I think Oh, sorry about that guys. I dropped my phone. But you can see it does fit in there. I mean, the space is just about perfect. So, let's get this retainer bracket back on there and see if this bad boy starts. Okay guys, moment of truth. Will the Super Cat Bank start the car? 
Well, we got resting voltage. So let's see what happens. And we are in business. Oh yeah. Well, as you can see, the Super Cat Bank will start the car, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I've seen other videos on YouTube of guys starting their vehicles with Super Caps. I've never done it myself, so I was pretty excited to see that it does work. Um, a little bit of fast forward, I've been driving this car now with those Super Caps in it for months, and it's just fine. Uh, it rests, or excuse me, it charges at about 14 volts and haven't had an issue with it. So I hope I did a good enough job explaining the process. It's the first time I've ever built a, a bank like that. So I appreciate you guys watching me through the process. I hope that was uh, informative, uh, right? That's why we're all here on YouTube. Most of us base heads anyway, trying to figure something out, trying to learn something, trying to see how other people do things. Um, so I hope this video inspired you to maybe try something similar. Um, it does look like my subscriber base is slowly going up. We just broke 50 subscribers, so thank you. I'm excited about that. I appreciate you guys that are watching my videos. Um, so if you could like or subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, I'm also going to put a link in the description to a couple of uh, some items that I sell on my Instagram page. Excuse me, not my Instagram page, my Amazon store that you guys might be interested in. Uh, if you like them, check them out, buy them. I'd greatly appreciate that as well. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Until next time, play your music loud.